Hi Preview! It's me, Miss Nate, your TikTok makeuperist, and today I'm gonna be doing a soft glam makeup look which you can use for photo shoots, events, if you have weddings to go to. So before anything else, I want you guys to know that my skin is already primed. When we say primed, it's already been cleansed, toned, moisturized. And the moisturizer that I used for today is this one from Saipo True Do. It is Filipina owned. It's a local brand. Super good. Makes my skin super hydrated. Disclaimer, this was a gift. Ed. I also have my contact lens from Olens. This is called Idol Grey. This is a collab with BTS. To all the armies out there watching, Bora hey guys, Bora hey. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. Basta, army po ako, and my bias is Jimin. Hello! <laughs> I actually like to start by doing my brows. So I'm just gonna use this brow gel from Lovely Cosmetics. It's clear, and I always do back combing. Do you guys know what back combing is? So I apply the brow gel against the grain of the hair because I want there to be product or gel on the back end or the other side of the hair, not just the front of the hair. And then once the gel has saturated my eyebrows, ito na, this is the time that we're gonna go in and shape our brows. So for our look today, since it is a very soft glam, I also wanted to call it an Asian-inspired makeup look because recently, I've been loving doing my makeup in a way that emphasizes or even enhances my Asian features. Baby, you light up my world. Char, ang corny! Some people like to ask me, is it gel first brow soap or gel first or pencil? It's up to you. I just like doing this because I find that if I do the brow gel first, I can pinpoint where I need to put my brow products. Before anything else, I have to give you tip number one. I have five tips for you, by the way, in this video. Tip number one is that your makeup will only be as good as your skin. In beauty videos, it's cliche to say that skincare is important. But yeah guys, skincare is important. It's not a cliche. Just to give you a little trivia, back when I was still doing makeup for brides, we usually ask them to get their skincare routine and solve all their skincare problems starting three months before their wedding date. The reason being is that if you really want your makeup to look its best, you really have to have good skin so yeah that's tip number one good skin is everything it is the single biggest factor to having good makeup so after i've let the brow gel dry down a little bit we're gonna use this brow pencil pro in ash brown from izzy and co i'm gonna try to make my brow a little bit more straight so as you can see i'm gonna fill in the lower part of my brow so just using light feathery strokes i'm gonna go in this part the lower end because it will give that illusion of a straight brow it will cancel out the arch now we're gonna fill in just using the same pencil notice how i didn't really put a lot of product here in this part because i want the brows to be dark here darker in the middle and darkest at the tail so i'm just gonna do the same thing for the other side I'm gonna start with my base. Yeah, it's a base. <laughs> it is a primer slash illuminator in one. I'm so sorry, the product is very used. Nabura na yung mga sulat sulat jan. Anyway, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in the shade number 5 tan. This one, I want to place it where I want there to be a little bit of radiance, a little bit of glow. Let me just put that here on my cheekbone area, a little actually on my brow bone, a little on the nose because I want to like bring light into this area. A little on the forehead, just, just a little. We don't want a shiny forehead. It's your choice if you want to put the chin or not. So I am just gonna blend that out with the It Cosmetics Heavenly Lux Complexion Perfection brush. This brush is really just the best. If you want to invest in a brush, this is the one that I recommend. It's dual-ended, so it's a wide one and then a thin one, foundation, concealer. This brush, I've seen makeup by Ariel, Kylie Jenner's makeup artist, use this. 
I've seen Hung Van Gogh, Patrick Ta use this brush. So for tip number two, I really recommend that you use a color corrector. So if you guys don't know what a color corrector does, color corrector neutralizes gray tones. Not all color correctors neutralize gray tones, but peach ones do work like that. I'm gonna apply it only where I need it. I'm just gonna blend that with my finger. So the thing kasi with color corrector, I believe that everybody should be using one because if you use one, you won't need to use as much foundation or concealer. And if you use less foundation and concealer, you're gonna have less caking and it's gonna be more comfortable to wear. That's it for this video. Charing. So next we're gonna do foundation. We're gonna be using this one from Dior. This is the Dior Backstage Foundation. It's really good. It's one of my top foundations. I'm gonna start on the outer part of my face because this foundation is very tan on me. So I'm gonna use it as sort of like a pre-contour. Also, another tip if you guys want a really clean, cohesive makeup look, you should apply foundation to the size of your nose because naturally, that's where we have a lot of redness. So after foundation, we are going in with concealer. Yeah, we're gonna do some brightening with the Izzy & Co. Active Concealers. So I'm using the shade D04. I think it's dark olive. Just for here, I like to focus all the brightening here on the center of my face and try to create like a vertical line for the hoagies bigas. Pero Japanese rice. Charing! <laughs> Bilog pala! Anyway, just gonna blend this. Now for this look, since we are gonna do an egg yosa, we're gonna create an eye bag later. Now we're just gonna go over that with a beauty blender. Now is the time to contour one of the favorite topics of every one of my followers. Every time I do contouring videos, people are really interested. So that is related to my third tip for today, which is to use a cool toned contour. We try to use the cool toned contour because like see what I have right now, the shadows here on my chin. And if you see on the wall, a shadow is actually cool toned. It's not warm toned. A lot of people think that we use bronzer to contour. Yes, you can. That's called bronzing, And that's when you get the sculpt if you add shadows. So today, I'm using the BLK Life Proof Airy Concealer in the shade Coco and a Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. Both gifted, by the way. I'm gonna use this brush and I'm gonna do this side of my face and you can compare it to this side later on. So when I usually contour, I start higher up here, like directly below my cheekbone. That's how I like to do it because I want that lift. So here, high up, then just tapping it. I don't want to mess up the foundation underneath. Because if you do the like swiping motions, you're gonna mess up the foundation underneath, which we don't want to happen. And even going a little bit into towards my nose, so we can get that slimming effect. I have quite uh, chubby cheeks, which I love, by the way. But for this look we can slim it out a little bit. See, look at that shadow. I'm gonna contour my double chin and I'm going right under my jaw. Also, I like to contour my forehead up here, very close to the hairline. Next, we are gonna be contouring our nose. Still the same product. For me, I just like contouring the sides of my nose, focusing that here towards the middle and then blending that outwards. I also like to contour the front part of my brow. Anyway, I'm just gonna do this side of my face and the nose just to show you the magic of contouring. Charing. Sometimes I also like contouring my lips just a little here for extra pout. So now, we're gonna do a little bit of setting powder. You can add cream blush before this step, but I like to use powder blush. Before we put powder blush, we have to set the under eye area first. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is the shade 1 because I want it to be really light. We're using it on the under eye area. Then using another shade of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder. It's in the shade number 2, which is a little bit darker back 
ganda. So this is our base without the powder blush and all. So my next tip is gonna be about eyeliner and eyeshadow. And instead of trying to do a cat eye that's very snatched, I like to work with my Asian features. And for this particular look, I want to accentuate the length of my eyes. Notice how I'm not gonna try to create a new crease. I'm just gonna go and elongate my eye. So focusing the color, the shading here, close to the lash line and then just applying eyeshadow horizontally. That's the first step. Just one color. I'm using the Natasha Denona Mini Diva. This shade. We almost forgot to include our Aegyosal. It should have been part of our contouring. So I'm gonna take this Etude House X Hyogen Contour Powder. It's gonna take a combination of these two colors. I just like to smile and really just accentuate my eye bags. It will make my eye more defined. I swear, it's part of the look if you're doing an Asian look. We're gonna take a darker color, maybe this one. Then we're just gonna focus this on the outer part and the inner part. Since we are making our eyes longer, we can also give the illusion that the eye is longer by elongating the bottom. See? Oh my god, ang ganda! I'm just gonna take the shimmer and then just apply it all over my eye. Of course, I'm gonna start tapping it here from the middle and then just out. So using the darkest shade, again, I'm trying to create like a soft liner here at the end of my eye. Use a shimmer. This is where you'll see how good Aegyosal actually is for Asian eyes. So we're just gonna use this shimmer. Then we're gonna smile and see our eye bags which we highlighted. I mean emphasize. Then we're just gonna add shimmer on this part, the fatty part. There, see? Ganda! Now, we are gonna move on to eyeliner. We're gonna put some brown eyeliner in the inner corner of our eyes. What I like to do is just to pull this and then get in there. Then the upper as well. Ayan! Kita niyo yung difference? Diba? Para mas malaki siya. So we're gonna darken the inner and the outer. Just using this pencil liner, create sort of a sketch for our horizontal eyeliner. So I'm gonna take these lashes from Fabulash. Sadly, these are unreleased. I'm just gonna put them on. I already curled and put one layer of my mascara on. And using this tweezer, or lash applicator to work with your eye shape in this case i just made my eyes longer because that's what suits my eye shape after many many tries of trying to find it and tip number five is that eyelashes are everything i mean just look at the difference this is essentially the same eyeshadow look now that both our eyelashes are on sometimes even if your lash glue is clear there's still like pieces of transparent shiny glue that are are stuck onto your lash band. This is a pen eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner. This is the K Palette Procast. And then just go over the lash band because I want to hide those bits of glue. And then after doing that, whatever we did with the pencil eyeliner, I'm gonna trace that to create our wing. Yeah, see the difference? So we're almost done with eyes. It's just the last step, which is mascara. I'm using K Palette. One Day Lash Up Silky Long Mascara. This was gifted to me, but I really love it. It's one of the best mascaras I've ever tried. If you have the time, you should do your bottom lashes. Then we're just gonna add a little hint of blush. If it looks like it's too much, we add more. So this is the Bubblegum Blush from MUD Studio. I like to apply it higher up here, almost to my under eye area. It will give us the Barbie pink cheeks. Looks so good! You can put a lot on your nose. Also here, you can add on the forehead. Finishing touches din lang tayo. I'm using Nars Claudette Audacious Lipstick in the shade Mathilde. This is a nude on me. And I'm gonna show you why I'm applying this pale a nude. It's because I'm gonna go in with the Peripera Pink Airy Velvet. This one, number 14. And go for that ombre lip look. Just applying this in the middle part. Yung manika, yung punong puno ng lip filler. Charing! Is pretty much it. If I were going out, I'd apply a setting spray. The one that I really trust is from Crayolan. Ito wala talagang galawan to. But it doesn't change the finish of your makeup. Notice how we didn't apply highlighter. I want it to be matte. Ang ganda! 
<laughs> we are pretty much done, but I do have to answer the question, what does beauty mean to me? For me, beauty is very, very personal. You know, working with a lot of clients, trying to beautify them on their very special day, on their wedding, their once-in-a-lifetime events. It's really different for everyone. So that has led me to learn that beauty is indeed personal. It's very individual. Sometimes people won't agree with our definitions of beauty, but at the end of the day, it's not their opinion that matters, it's yours. It's how you see yourself. So that's it for today. Thank you so much, Preview, for having me. This is my soft glam look. Thank you so much. Goodbye.